Hi, everyone, and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition visualization video series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Bentley Systems, and this video we are going to cover solar lighting. I want you to launch MicroStation Connect Edition, set the workspace, Bentley Connect Training, work set visualization, and load A Station Model MS. Now, setting up solar lighting, there's a number of different lighting that we can set up inside of MicroStation. When we bring up MicroStation right now and our station model, you can see in this smooth rendering that we do have shadows being cast. So we do have an active light set up and we do have shadows being cast according to that specific light setup. What we're gonna to wanna to do here is we're gonna to wanna to go to our visualization workflow. We're gonna to go to the home tab and then we are gonna to go to the lighting group and launch the light manager dialog box. Now this is a really big dialog box, but as you can see here, this first column is my light setups. If you do not see that, just turn on the little light bulb up on top there. And then over here in the middle column is our lights. Now you can see I have solar on and I have ambient on. And if I click on solar, then uh, we can come over here to the solar tab and we can see the settings that we have set up for right now we're on evening and this is what we have set up for evening and that's the shadows that we're seeing here in the smooth rendering so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new light setup so the uh, page of paper up here with the green plus sign on it that's new setup and we're going to call that mid-morning and then we're going to come over here to the solar position tab one more time and we are going to set the type that we want we have two types time and location or direction we want time and location we're going to select our date and it's easy we can select today's date we just click on today and it selects today's date then time right now is set to 4 p.m we want it at 11 a.m so we're going to grab the slide bar here and slide it to the left and you can see it's changing time right now i'm going to kind of stop it right at about 12 15. you can see the shadows get adjusted in the smooth rendering here so this is at 12 15. and then if i click on the arrows what it does is it changes a 15 minute increments and you can actually see the shadows move as i click the arrow in 15 minute increments and there we have 11 a.m uh, we have our Greenwich Mean Time offset. If we have daylight saving times, we can turn on daylight savings time. If you click that, you can see it adjusts the shadows properly. I'm going to leave daylight saving times off. We can put the latitude and longitude of our site in here, or we can come here to the little Coliseum and we can select the major city that's close to us. And that should be close enough for getting the lights correct. We can also bring in the latitude and longitude from Google Earth. If I click on this, it'll launch Google Earth and I can point us to a spot and it will bring the latitude and longitude there. Or the yellow folder is, I can go into Google Earth and save a KML file of my position, and then I can read that KML file right here in my light manager setup. The true north direction is 90 degrees. That means east is going to be zero, 180 is going to be west, and of course, 270 will be south. What I can do here is I can tell it that true north is 45. And then 90 degrees from those positions is going to be east and west. But I can kind of cheat it a little bit if I don't like the way the shadows are being cast. Now, the ambient light, I have ambient light on and set up. Ambient light is going to illuminate all surfaces. This is very helpful if I have like the back of this building in shadow and I still want to see some of the details of it. Ambient light, it illuminates all surfaces evenly and ambient light does not cast shadows. There we have it. That's it for our global solar lighting. Thanks, and we will see you in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.